Hey guys and welcome back. So here I am in Minecraft with the Immersive Vehicles mod and since the last Minecraft video did so well, why not make another one? So I already have all the planes set up in this airport and by the way, I did not build this airport, I just downloaded it from Planet Minecraft. So if you want to download the map then I'll leave a link in the description. But anyway, so yeah, we'll get to these planes in a second. But something I want to talk about is that one drawback this mod used to have was that it was only available for 1.12.2 but recently it was updated so now it is available for 1.16.5 which is really cool okay yeah maybe it's not the latest version of minecraft but at least it's 1.16 and that's when the new textures in the nether update came out so it's good enough and that also means installing the mod is a little bit different now so let me show you how i did it and if you would like to install the mod yourself then feel free to follow along so the first mod that I downloaded was the Immersive Vehicles mod. This is pretty much the main base mod that the other mods depend on. The second mod that I got was the official content pack for Immersive Vehicles. This just adds in some smaller general aviation aircraft and some other cool vehicles. And for the most important mod, besides Immersive Vehicles of course, is the Golden Airports pack. This is the mod responsible for adding the big and small commercial aircraft into the game. And last but not least, Distant Horizons. Minecraft's render distance gets pretty small when you're traveling very fast, so Distant Horizons helps extend the render distance without sacrificing too much performance. And of course, I needed Forge to load up the mods and I got Optifine cause why not. And if you guys are trying to install the mod but don't know what else to do, don't worry, I got you. First you're gonna want to install Forge, simply just open the Forge file and press OK and it'll pretty much install itself. After that, you're gonna want to open your Minecraft launcher, click on installations, then click on the folder icon on your Forge installation, and then this should bring up the .minecraft uh, folder. After that, you're gonna want to drop your um, mod files into your mods folder. So just go ahead and drop them in like so. And that's pretty much it. You're good to go. So, yep, just select Forge and press play. Alright, so now that we're in the game, let's start flying these planes. One thing that I do want to point out is how the Distant Horizons work. So, so as you can see, my render distance uh, is really far right now. It's actually at, what, 256? Yeah, 256 render distance and that's really far so yeah how uh, distant horizons works is that pretty much reduces the quality of the chunks farther away so as you can see uh the chunks farther away Brother, they uh, look not good so that? uh yeah but that's how uh distant horizons increases the render distance without sacrificing uh performance Okay, but anyways, uh, back to the plane. So the first plane that I want to fly is the Airbus A220, which is right there, Air Baltic right there. And the reason why I want to fly that one first is that uh, it's because it has a really cool feature that I really want to show you guys. All right, so here we are at our aircraft and then can just go ahead and close the door. Wow, I'm so excited that I'm really jumping up and down the plane. <laughs> Okay, but anyway, so another cool thing about this about this mod is that you can customize the aircraft however you like it, or at least customize the cockpit, so you can pretty much put in whatever instruments you want. All right, but anyways, let's start flying this thing. Oh, that is loud. Hold up, let me turn down the volume. Yep, looks like the engines are already started up. Let's go ahead. Lights on and start pushing back. All right, now let's start taxiing.
Alright, so here we are at the runway, and here's where the, um, the cool thing that I want to show you guys is. So, so in real life, uh, when the A220 is sticking off, you usually hear the engines howling. And so pretty much what they did is that they actually they made the engines howl in this mod too. So let me just demonstrate that real quick. As you guys heard, the engines kind of howled when I put the uh, throttle to... Oh crap, nope. Please don't. Please don't stop. But yeah, but anyways, you guys could hear the engines howling, which is a really cool feature that they added to the A220. I guess let's just go ahead and... Oh, what the heck? Uh, what is going on with the aircraft? Okay, yeah, might, might need to start landing. I think we should land now, because that does not look good. Land! Come on! You know what? Screw it. Screw the runway. I'm landing on the grass! Never mind, I'm not landing on the grass. Okay, touchdown. Reverse thrust. Get the reverse uh, thrust now. Oh, never mind. I didn't need the reverse thrust. Okay, we're fine. We're good. We're good. But anyways, let's just get back to the uh, apron. Alright, and we are back. Oh, okay. Okay, so yeah, that was uh that was an interesting flight. Uh wasn't the smoothest, but oh well. Yep, so that's it for the A220, I guess. That was some This is a nice air Baltic livery though. I do. Yeah, the A220 is I mean it's cool. It looks cool. <laughs> but anyways, let's move on to the next plane. Alright, so the next aircraft that I want to try uh, is the DC-8. It's, it's a classic aircraft, so yeah, so let's just go ahead and board it. But anyways, here's the interior, if you guys want to see it. Or if you guys wondered what it looks like. I am literally getting stuck. So yeah, we got the back galley, and then the, I guess the service slash exit doors. And here we are in the cockpit, so... Yep, so I already got the instruments laid out in this aircraft. Alright, so the engines are started up. And... Um, start pushing back. Alright, here we are at the runway. I guess this is runway 228 two left. Yep, runway 28 left. So, got the flaps down, and I guess it's just. Oh, yeah, I gotta get the lighting light. And. Full throttle. Oh, ah, yes. Doing some nice JT3D engine sounds. We're off. And, yep, that's pretty much it. This is a really nice DC-8 model. Alright, here we are at our destination. Um, 
Yep, this was a very nice one minute long flight, so uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the flight. Oh, the spoiler's not coming out. Oh. Yep, that's a go around. Wait, no, I'm stalling. I'm stalling! Please, no, stop! Get back in the air! Get back in the air! No! Please! No! And that was... That was the butter. I'm just kidding. Okay, well that was another very successful flight. Wait, no, I'm stalling. I'm stalling! Please, no, stop! And we definitely did not almost stall, neither. Alright, and we have made it back safely, thankfully. Look at those nice G JT3D engines. I've always wondered why they had these weird exhausts though. Eh, oh well. Okay, anyways, let's get to our next aircraft, which would be the 737. And to be exact, this is a 737-300. Let's go ahead and get the engines going. Uh, let's go ahead and get the lights on and go ahead and start pushing back. All right, and here we are at the runway again. And by the way, this mod also has like uh, interior sound, so there's actually a difference from hearing the engines inside the aircraft and outside. What does the cabin do? Oh, those are the cabin lights. Makes sense. Right, and we're already airborne. Wow, that was fast. Too low, what do you mean too low? We're we're literally taking off, bro. Chill out. Actually, you know what? Can I do a loop? Loop do loop. Okay, you know what? I don't think it's a good idea to do that. Nope. Please get back to the ground. Get back to the ground. Are we stalling? We're stalling. No, we're not. Are we? No. No, no. We're fine. We're fine. Are you sure about that? Wait. No. We're stalling. We're stalling. We're stalling. No. 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 Please. Stop! No! No! Uh, no. Okay. That's a landing. What is going- Oh, never mind. We haven't landed. Okay, yep. Now we have. We're stressed. Thanks. Okay, yep. We're good. We stopped. We have landed safe and sound. Thankfully. And we have made it back once again, safe and sound. Get the door open. Bruh. And I just fell through the stairs. <laughs> Alright, well, I think that's gonna wrap it up for this video. So yeah, that's the immersive vehicles mod for you guys. Uh, I think I think this is just mostly 
the uh, Golden Air Force pack. If you guys enjoyed it, then make sure to leave a like. And so yeah, I'll see you guys later. See ya!